Anyone who watches this show will know that I know a thing or two about badly made YouTube videos. Hello players, welcome to Second Tech, I'm Jose in the Post Australia. Please sit back, relax, recline in your racing chair. It, it doesn't matter where you're sitting, all chairs are welcome, but, but come in a little closer. Sit closer. Okay, okay, that's close enough. Being this sexy could make you feel immortal, but Diablo Immortal is not feeling very sexy. Or very immortal, as the mobile game from Blizzard crashed and burned. As of last month, Diablo Immortal became the worst game in history. Not just in the mobile space, of all time. Yes, worse than Bubsy 3D and Duke Nukem Forever. <laughs> Diablo Immortal was the game that no one asked for, no one wanted, and no one liked. The current user score on Metacritic, Metacritic, that's a difficult word to say, is an astonishing 0.3. <laughs> it couldn't even get into single digits. Diablo Immortal is basically a skin for a predatory microtransaction casino, and to fully max out your character in the game would cost anywhere from $300,000 to $600,000. But that's okay, you guys all have credit cards, right? This is possibly the worst example of using every psychological trick to make the player spend money. Uh, remember, not all players are sexy grown-ups like us. <laughs> you know, I, I didn't think anyone could steal the crown from EA, but, but here we are. This is cold, Blizzard. And of course, the fan base, which includes me, are worried that these gambling mechanics will spill over into the upcoming Diablo 4. You're on thin ice, Blizzard. And, but just when you thought it was safe to go back in the Play Store, new malware has been discovered in apps on the Android Play Store. These apps have been downloaded over 3 million times, and no, 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 it wasn't Diablo Immortal or TikTok. The apps would secretly subscribe you to premium services. Some of the apps included uh, were Funny Camera, Vlog Star, Video Editor, and Creative 3D Launcher. So if you have any of those installed, or if you've installed them at any time, scroll past that list of Blizzard transactions and to see if you've been charged. Speaking of being charged for absolute nonsense, BMW have started charging uh, subscriptions for heated seats in their cars. All BMW cars will have heated seats installed, but now you can pay a monthly fee to turn them on. <laughs> hey. It, it's like they looked at the gaming industry and said, what's, what's, does everybody hate here? And it comes, yep, let's do that with our cars. This is not the only microtransactions BMW have put into their cars, and they are not the only manufacturer doing it. But wouldn't it be great if we had this on everything? I've, I bought a four slicer toaster. You know, only two slices are turned on by default, but I have some cash. I'm gonna pay the $10 a month and have all four slices activated. <laughs> hey, hey, can I, can I borrow your lighter? Sorry, I've only got the basic plan. I can only use this inside my house. <laughs> BMW, ha BMW said the hardware feature has already been installed on your vehicle during production at no extra cost. Great, then let me freaking use it. Let's, <laughs> let's hope they don't pull a Netflix and start putting ads in your cars. In slightly better, bittersweet news, Sexy Lo-Fi Girl is back. The Lo-Fi Girl radio channel was taken down over copyright notices because of YouTube's copyright system is, well... Yeah, I said shit. And I'll bleep it out again if I have to. <laughs> I said shit. These forced copyright strikes were aimed at the channel's Beats to Relax and Study To streams, among others. YouTube has now reinstated the channel and YouTube later called the copyright notices abusive and false. This has only gotten traction because, Lo -fi Girl, because of Lo-Fi Girl's popularity and her community. The internet is a place where you should always use protection, but there is no protection for creators. Think of how many awesome small channels could just vanish. Now, unfortunately, we're still here, but uh, we are out of time. We missed, uh, what did we miss? We missed Elon Musk pulling out Twitter. You know, Twitter was a little bit relieved as Elon had already started picking out new names that nobody could pronounce. Okay, until next time, stay sexy and be excellent to each other. You know, I'm going to start collecting highlighters. Mark my words. <laughs>